I could see with a person like Lil Rod, he probably was roughing them up, grabbing them, groping them, you know what I'm saying? Acting like he playing with them, but he actually want him to do what he want him to do. So that was Gene Deal, Diddy's former bodyguard, talking about the new lawsuit against Diddy. This time, it's not from a woman, but from a man. It appears that Brother Love could be facing some serious trouble this time. A new lawsuit has been filed, and it appears that someone else is involved too. This time, the person who has filed the lawsuit is none other than the music producer Lil Rod. P. Diddy, accused of sexual assault by producer Lil Rod, what a big full man. It seems that it's not just Diddy he's accusing, as Diddy had help from others, and believe it or not, he's hinting that Cuba might have been involved too. Cuba Gooding Jr.'s name popping up is surprising for many people, since he's been out of the spotlight for a while. It's not just Lil Rod who knows the truth, but it's the outspoken Diddy's ex-bodyguard, Jin Deal, as well. He has dropped hints that might be troubling for Diddy and Cuba Gooding. There's a big update on the Diddy situation, and it seems like his time in power might might be coming to an end. The latest trouble he's facing is serious RICO charges brought against him in a new lawsuit. Interestingly, just before this lawsuit came out, Diddy tried to discredit one of the women accusing him, claiming she was lying and blaming it on cancel culture. But before the court could even address that, yet another lawsuit hit him, his fifth since November. This time, it's not a female accuser, but a male producer who worked on his recent album. For those who don't know what's going on, let us fill you in. In. Producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones has filed a big lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs. Lil Rod alleged that Diddy surely harassed and threatened him for over a year. He claims to have captured video and audio footage of Diddy, his high-profile friends, and staff engaging in illegal activities. According to court documents, Jones accuses Diddy of inappropriate touching and trying to involve him in sexual activities with other men. Diddy even allegedly promised Jones a Grammy for his work if he compiled. One of the claims in the lawsuit is that Combs made Jones find workers and pushed him into unwanted activities with them and others. It's also alleged that Combs spiked drinks with drugs at parties at his homes. Has now accused Sean Diddy Combs of operating a racketeering enterprise, groping him, forcing him to engage in sexual acts with sex workers and lacing alcohol for the guests in his home including underage girls. The lawsuit contains screenshots from parties held at Combs residences. It claims these gatherings involved underage girls and workers, some of whom were given drinks, spiked with drugs on Combs' orders. Jones also alleges that one time, Combs made him watch while he showed off guns and boasted about getting away with shooting people. In another incident, Jones claims Combs admitted to being involved in a shooting at a nightclub in New York City in 1999 with the rapper Shine, also known as Jamal Barrow. Although Combs was cleared of gun possession and bribery charges related to that incident, Barrow was sentenced to 10 years in jail. Jones was scared of comms and felt like he couldn't refuse him, according to the lawsuit. Jones also mentioned another producer of the Love album, Stevie J, saying he also tried to pressure him to participate in the rumored activities. According to Jones, Diddy would tell him to find specific workers online and then push him into doing things for Diddy's pleasure. In one incident from February 2023, Jones says he woke up without clothes on and feeling confused in bed with two workers and Diddy. He suspects that Diddy might have put something in his dress the night before. But there's more to the lawsuit. It also talks about some important people, including executives at a record label, who Jones claims helped Diddy. Jones argues that several people teamed up with Diddy in what he calls a big plan. He mentioned many big names in entertainment, but only Diddy's son, Justin Dior Combs, Universal Music Group chief executive Lucian Charles Grange, Oscar-winning Cuba Gooding, former Motown Records chief executive Ethiopia Haptomerium, Chalice Recording Studio, 
Studios, Diddy's Chief of Staff Christina K.K. Corum, Love Records, and Combs Enterprises are listed as defendants. Jones says their connection breaks the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act. Usually these kind of cases target organized crime groups, as it seems like Jones is saying Diddy's group is like that. He even mentioned how Diddy hired people to find workers and deal with illegal things from his mansion in Miami. According to Jones, Diddy and his friends controlled him with threats, stopping him from being in the music scene and not paying him for his work on the album. Even though he produced nine tracks for the Love album, Jones says he hasn't got any money. This new case against Diddy isn't surprising. Last November, singer Cassie made similar accusations against him, claiming trafficking, assault, and more. Diddy settled with Cassie for an undisclosed sum. After her claims, three more women sued Diddy for sexual assault the next month. According to legal papers from TMZ, Jones says Diddy introduced him to Cuba Gooding Jr. on Diddy's yacht. Supposedly, Cuba started making unwanted moves on him, which made Jones feel uncomfortable. He even included a photo of Cuba hugging him as evidence. We know Cuba has faced similar accusations before. In 2019, several women accused him of behaving badly. The lawsuit alleges Mr. Combs was present while Mr. Jones was being assaulted by Cuba Gooding Jr. Mr. Jones was legally on the premises as a guest and invitee of Mr. Combs. Cuba Gooding Jr. was legally on the premises as a guest and invitee of Mr. Combs. Yeah, that does make sense, man. And me looking at this lawsuit, he's also, you know, alleging that he met Cuban Gooding Jr. through Diddy on Diddy Yacht. And it even got to a point where he started touching him on his, you know, upper inner thigh near his groin. This is the first time he's facing accusations from a man. In June 2019, Cuba got into trouble for an incident at a bar in Times Square, where he was accused of inappropriate touching. He faced another charge but avoided jail time by making a deal. Recently, two alleged victims of Cuba filed a lawsuit against him. Some new photos also came out showing Cuba partying with Diddy. With all these new claims, the situation is getting more complicated. However, this isn't going to be hard for many people to believe, as we've seen Cuba in similar situations before. In 2019, several women accused him of acting inappropriately, but this is the first time he's facing accusations from a man. In June 2019, he got into trouble at a Times Square bar where he was accused of touching a woman inappropriately. He faced more charges, but he avoided going to jail by making a deal, thanks to a law called the Adults of Survivors Act, which allowed Cassie to sue Diddy, two alleged victims of Cuba, recently filed a new lawsuit. Meanwhile, more photos have surfaced showing Cuba partying with Diddy. Lil Ra's lawsuit wasn't the only thing that made people believe him. Jean Deal has been telling us things about Diddy for years, and it seems that it was all true. Jean has also talked about the close bond between Cuba and Diddy, shedding light on what Lil Rod went through. So, when you see Cuban Gooden fighting a case here in New York, when he said the girl was saying that he was groping her and everything like that. He mentioned the time when Cuba faced harassment allegations from multiple women. It makes sense that Cuba used to hang out with Diddy because they have similar interests. However, this time it looks like they might have a hard time getting out of this situation. There's a solid evidence against both of them. Jean has also clarified that Cuba was close to Diddy and there's speculation that they both might have taken advantage of Lil Rod. So when you see Cuban Gooden fighting a case here in New York when he said the girl was saying that he was groping her and everything like that. So with all these new accusations, it makes you wonder why these two were hanging out together. As for now, Cuba and Diddy are dealing with Rodney Jones' lawsuit. Cuba hasn't said anything about the allegations yet. On the other hand, Diddy's lawyers quickly responded, saying Rodney was lying and denying everything. Jean has always been a reliable source of information, and he provided valuable insight into Cassie and Diddy's case as well. Now many fans are confident that Jean will reveal everything he knows about what's going on in Hollywood. Cuban Gooden Jr. was so close to that man, I would thought that was his lady. Representatives for Justin Combs stated in a message that he categorically denies these absurd allegations. They are all lies. This is a clear example of a desperate person taking desperate measures in hopes of a payday, the statement said. There will be legal consequences for all defamatory statements made about the Combs family. So this isn't anything new. Remember when Diddy faced accusations from Cassie? At first he denied everything and said she was just after money. But Cassie's lawyer revealed that 
said Diddy actually offered her money to keep quiet. Cassie refused and went ahead with the lawsuit. Then, less than a day later, Diddy changed his tune and said he was settling with Cassie out of court. Fans started talking, wondering if settling meant he was admitting guilt. After all, with someone as famous as Diddy, you'd think he'd try harder to prove his innocence. Yep, it looks like Diddy's facing the music now, especially with the RICO stuff in this lawsuit. It's getting tougher for him each day with new lawsuits popping up. How will he manage to stay afloat in Hollywood? It'll be interesting to see how he tries to get out of this mess. As for fans, here are some of their reactions. A user stated, Usher, Justin Bieber, Trey Songz, Chris Brown, Meek, Mill, Cuba, Gooden Jr. have one thing in common, and that is P. Diddy. All of them have act out, especially against women, because they was traumatized by Diddy. Another user said, For you idiots saying, why did he wait so long? Gene has been talking for years, and nobody believed him. He's just hot now because of what's happening. He saw what was happening and left, told his story, and everyone made him out to be crazy. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching.